Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to try and do a bit of weathering to win. So I'll uh, go through it and we'll, uh, we'll get into it. I took his head off and I took his hands off. Just took his belt off so we're going to wear Try taking this off without damaging it if we can. It's better to put his arms back. So that's the top bit off. And we'll take the bottoms off and we'll do the top bit off first. Do the top half first and then we'll take the bottom part off because I don't know if I'm going to be able to pop these off. So we've got these now. We'll try and do a bit of weather into them and see how they'll come out. So we've got our paintbrush. Got our paint. Now again, I just want to be going as light as possible, so basically getting most of this off. It's hard to see before the camera. Don't think it's. Good. Nothing's gone on it. Okay, so we've got our paintbrush. We've got a little pot of paint. This is obviously black, um, but it's watered down massively. Trying to get as much off the brush as I can because I don't want it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to ruin it, obviously. And we'll just go light on it. Hopefully this uh, sticks to it a bit. And you can, if you can see on the camera, there's a little bit going on it. I don't, want it, uh, I don't want to do too much because I don't want to ruin it. Get a bit more paint on it. Thick blob of paint on that bit on the end, I don't want that. Just got to um, go steady with it, not put too much on. If you can see is any difference can't really tell it's only slight because as i say i don't want to um i don't want to go super heavy because i think it'll ruin it just want to go a bit light maybe the bottom of here maybe a bit heavier So that's the that's the front. And that's the back. So you can see it's it's working. But it's just a slow process. You don't want to rush it because obviously that's when you start going too heavy. So 
do a bit at a time. We get more, trying to get more, a bit darker. Bit for the ends. There is a, uh, it's clothing. To be fair, I think it's looking pretty good. It's getting there. Can't really tell on the uh, camera. I sort of have to look at it when I'm doing it and not look for the camera because you can't really tell that well. You might be able to tell better when it's on the uh, when I've uploaded it on the big screen. paint I'm using is just a black um, acrylic paint is um but obviously it's, it's really really watered down because I don't want to wear like you say like I keep saying you don't want to um, overdo it whereas it could just turn out black just want to give it a bit of a bit of extra weathering a bit of detail I think that's looking really good that's the back and that's the front. So maybe a little bit more at the bottom of here and then we'll uh, start doing his arms and the back. Right, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to wear, uh, I'm going to stop recording now because I really want to uh, concentrate on getting it looking right and I'll, uh, I'll obviously, I'll put it back the, uh, I'll show you again and I'll get it a bit more looking weathered, so yeah. I don't know if you can see the difference, I mean you can see that I've weathered it, all the front of it. I've done the arm, and obviously that's the arm I haven't done. So, folks, see a difference. Clean version, dirty version. And that's the back of it. Gonna have to do a bit more weathering on the back of his arm there, but up to now, yeah, I'm liking it. I think it looks pretty good. It's pretty grimy, dirty. So it should be plus with um making these a bit darker and dirtier it'll make his hands pop more so we'll get into doing this arm next as you can see i've weathered it more now i've weathered the other arm so both arms are weathered the back's been done again you might not be able to tell on the camera, but it is being weathered. I can tell only just because you only need to go lightly. You don't need to go too heavy. I mean, you don't even have to weather it anyway. You could just leave it as it is. It's, it is a, such a good piece. You don't even need to do this, but because it's my piece, I really want to do it, and because I want to get into doing more of making these pop a bit more. So I have to leave it to dry a bit now. But I'm done weathering that now. We'll just uh, we'll see what we can do with the pants now. I don't know if I'm hoping I can get him past his feet. If I can't get his feet off, I'm going to have to do it with why he's wearing them. But we'll see what happens. We'll do this first, actually. We'll do this next, because you can see it's going to look a bit odd if I don't weather this bit. Same for the belt. I'll probably have to do something with the belt again. You can see how much I've weathered it now, look. You can see that's what it used to look like, the colour difference, but yeah. We'll weather them ones next. So I'm just weathering this now. 
Okay, just go lightly with the brush. I'm no expert doing this if you think I am. Like some people might think, you know, it's easy for you to do. I'm not an expert at doing any of this. I've only just started doing stuff like this. Well, this is probably this is actually only my second time of doing anything like this, weathering wise of um of some material of one of my figures. So I'm still learning, still practicing. No, I'm not. A, I'm not a professional painter or anything like that. Just, uh, just an ordinary person who just is interested in doing it. So, what we'll do as well, we'll have to try and cut some of these threads off without damaging it. As you can see there, it's got a bit more weathering on it. They need a bit more on the edges, I think, to make it look a bit more realistic. Obviously, it'd be more weathered towards the edges. And you can see I've gone a bit dark on these bits here. Oh, I didn't mean to, but to be fair, it actually looks all right. So luckily, I think I might have got away with that one. Again, doing this. We'll also make his head pop more. It's looking a bit more um, detailed, really, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to bother with the bottom bit because you, sh you shouldn't see it, really, anyway. Once, obviously, it's on his body like that, you can see it looks dirty and off, but yeah. I think it works, I think it looks good. Do a little bit more. Try not to go too heavy this time. I think I've got some darker paint on the edge of the brush, that's probably why. Just try and get as much of it off if you can. Trying to get this front bun mainly. It's not really going to look at the back of it. Might um, try adding a bit of blood as well to it. Trouble is adding blood. The only blood I've got is basically just normal red paint. And I don't think it's that good. I need to find where I can get some. What looks a bit more like. More realistic for being blood. Might have to put some more. Paint and some more water in that. A little tub of paint as well. Seems to be running out. Now, what I'm going to do underneath, but I'm only going a little bit. Not too much. I think I'll leave it there. It looks pretty good. I do like it. Let's do this belt next. Oh, let's put some more water in that. Just bear with me. Just got some more paint in the little tub. I think the best way of probably weathering this is sort of just going down. Make it look a bit more natural, the muck. Sort of there. Uh, coming down like that. Probably should have mixed my uh, pot. You can see a difference. Yeah, that looks right. That looks, looks about right. <laughs> Oh, 
There we go. That's better. Start to mix it a little bit. Get some of that muck on it. That black. Really simple, but it's really effective. Just go across a little bit. Yeah, we'll leave it there. I like that. We'll leave that to dry. So the next step is trying to get the uh, trousers off if we can. So I took one of them off. So as you can see, it's on a ball joint. It just pops off. Hopefully I can pop it back on. I'll just try and pop it back on now. Then we'll know. Hopefully, fingers crossed. If we don't pop up back on, then we're we're gonna be crying. Yeah. So it goes back on all right. Just go careful when you're popping it off. I don't know how you go careful, like, because you've got literally got to literally rag it off. But you can see his shoes there a bit better now. You'll also get a bit of paint coming off it, just on the um, bit where it's attached with the ball joint. Ow. Bam, me hand then. So that's the one off. So you can see now, I've got no feet. So we can go ahead and see if we can get these off. He's got a Velcro there. So we can just be able to pop these down. Yep. Oh yes, perfect. So you can see his body now. That's what it looks like. No clothing. And there's his trousers. So you can see it's a big it's a big body they've used for this piece. And you see where he's there, uh, they sculpted the shoes up so far. You can see the bends as well better. You can see that has only got a single bend in his elbow. It's also got a swivel up here. But it's hard to swivel it and also lift his shoulders up when he's got his clothes on. You see his little bum bum. Got a little white bum bum, little white tushy. Yeah, so let's get into painting his trousers. Colour difference, you can see the colour difference there from obviously them being painted and them not being painted. What we're going to do is just go through the same process, just lightly. We're going to try and get more, a bit more weathering up here because obviously his trousers are flaring out and then obviously on the bottom of his ankles bit. So we'll see how we'll get on with this bit here. So I don't know if you can tell on the camera, it's already starting to come out the weathering pretty good. Try and dab as much water and paint off it when you're doing it. You don't want to go too heavy like I keep saying. Because as I say, if you go too heavy, you're going to be really, really gutted. That you basically you've ruined it. You maybe, yeah, maybe you can wash it out, I don't know. Maybe you could just stick him in the washer. And wash his clothes. Probably shrink them though. If you want to wear... Get all this paint back off it. Maybe that would help. I don't know. Probably bored watching me. It's like watching paint dry. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. So you can see it's um took pretty good colour difference from that one to that one. I'm hoping it dries. I'm hoping it's not just changing colour because it's wet. And I'm hoping it dries and it stays this sort of colour. It should do. Hopefully. 
some gloves we might have to go back in there maybe a bit darker hopefully this will uh, be fine And once we've got all this bit of weathering done then we can just try and snip bits of the extra material off it and then it'd be pretty much done because I don't know if I'm brave enough to do a bit of a black wash to his head like I wanted to I don't know if I'm brave enough even though you get uh, obviously you have two heads with it but still I don't know yet, we'll see. We'll see if we do that, but if we do that and then it'll be all done and then the only thing that'll be left to do would obviously build, make a little base for it, like a diorama base. I'm looking forward to making. Yeah, I don't know when I'll get around to doing that one though. Hopefully you found this interesting anyway. Try and get a bit of his ankles now. I'll just what I've did with his wrist ones, I just sort of put holded it like that a bit and just did the uh top of it a bit because it's it's hard to get this bit. But I'll make the ends of it real dirty because that's probably the most likeliest place it's always gonna be the dirtiest. It's just at the ends. And then just sort of open it up a bit and then just get all the inside. I'm open, I'm not taking this paint off from my fingers when I'm holding it because you can feel it's can feel it's wet. Should be alright. But mind you with me up. Getting it all over my fingers anyway, I'm just putting it back on the uh, figure. So it's just in fact it's just probably helping it weather it even more. I might even try if I can find anything like little bells or something to put attached to the bottom of here as well and maybe his wrists as well because I think in the wrists he has little bells on his wrists as well don't I? I'm not so sure it's been a long time since I've uh, watched this film I want a big uh, fan if it, it was okay, the first one was good, the second one was, uh, I don't know, it was pretty bad on it to be fair. The sort of, um, they all split up, didn't they? Went in their own directions, even though they knew what was coming. Like, it was obviously going to come after each and one of them. And it's, it seemed silly because obviously they're stronger together and they knew that probably from the first one. I don't know. I just don't want too keen on the second one. I think a lot of people want. First one was good, second one it's okay. I don't prefer the uh, TV version of um, the original it, the uh, Tim Curry one. Still a good film, these ones, still good. But yeah, probably would prefer the other one, the original one. Sort of blow up though, didn't it? it so everyone was sort of um, raving about it. You see, I'm going a bit darker up here. That wasn't my intention again. But I think I might be able to pull it off. I think it's when I put my paintbrush in the pot, I end up touching the bottom of it, and that's where all the paint's rested. I'm happy with them though, look okay. We'll get the um we'll do this other leg and then we'll uh we'll try and dress them again, which will probably I don't know, I think that might be quite difficult. We'll, we'll see what we can do. The head <laughs> we're gonna do it. I'm gonna do it very lightly. I'm proper nervous about this bit. I'm gonna do it on camera. I won't gonna do it on camera because that crime, but um, 
we'll see what happens might not work anyway might not be the right kind of paint I need to use might have to wear I don't know what kind of other paint you probably would need to use just dab it on some the frown And I don't know if this is even going to work because it might be too watery. Um, can't really tell, can you? I mean, that'll probably just come off. Yeah, I think it's gone on a little bit. I might have to, oh, I might have to get a bit of the paint on there. Much of it off of though. Just go lightly. I think it's working. Looks like there's a bit of a different colour in there. That's the way. Leave it to dry and then it might stir. I can't tell. Let's try a bit more. Oh, I can see it now. Definitely can see it now. Just a uh, bit off. A bit too much there. Yeah, that'll do. But I think that'll do. We'll leave it there. Right, I'm filming this a few days after doing the weathering on this piece, but you won't notice any difference because literally this piece, this will just show straight after the other pieces of the video. It'll just be edited together. So, but to me, it's, for me, it's been a few days, and I've, what I've been thinking about doing. Just trying to maybe stick some, maybe stick some pen, cotton wool in the shoulders and maybe in the lower pants as well. So I was thinking about using this cotton wool and put them inside the sides of the shoulders and everything to puff him up a bit more. Um, so we'll do that now and see how we'll get on with that. I don't know if it's going to work. It might be a bit awkward because... I might actually literally have to take it all this uh, top half off after doing it. We'll uh, try it anyway. Just try a little bit first, see what happens. It don't work, it don't work. We can just take it back out, can't we? No, it's really difficult to try and uh, push it in there without taking it off. I don't want to mess about taking it all off again. Oh, I think we're going to have to that way. I'm going to have to take it all back off again. I 
Yeah. Let's pause the video. Put the jacket off it now. Put some in already. Put some more in. Don't know if this is going to work because obviously I can't put so much in because his arm needs to go back in. So I need to try and sort of nipple it and put it so it's up there like that. Right. As you can see, difference already. But obviously, he ain't got it on yet. So, but you can see it's puffed up here. And I just need to do that side. So this could work. I just think it needs puffing up a bit. I mean, you can do it yourself, but it's just you'd have to probably do it all the time just to um, puff it up a bit. When there might be obviously this easier way of doing it. I'll cut all the little extra material bits off of the final piece there. I'll put this bit in here as well, put a bit more. Typically you don't want to put too much in one side and it's bigger on the other side than there. That side. It seems a little a lot more puffy now, so let's see if I can get it back on again. It's not the easiest thing to put back on again. There we go. Yeah, I think this might work. Let's fasten him back up again. Get his hands on. We might do this for his uh, pants as well. Because it seems to have worked all right. So, again, obviously, I'm doing this video to show you guys who, if you want to wear, do anything to this, modify it in any way, then obviously that's what I'm showing you. You don't have to, like I say, it's, it's still a good piece without modifying it. A big extra piece of material there. Probably could have even got away with putting some more padding in it. Just nip that bit off there. There we go. Right, so we'll just do the same for the legs. I won't bother recording that bit for the legs. You've got the idea what I was, what I'm aiming for. Not if I need a bit more weathering on it now. Now it's dried fully. Well, I do the pants anyway. Finished him up now. I've added a bit more padding up here on his shoulders. I did a bit of padding on his pants. I couldn't put too much in though because it was getting it was looking a bit silly. So when you do this, try not to add too much. Back end looks a bit flat, but it doesn't matter about the black end back end because you're not seeing the back end. You're just, you're just looking at the front. So I'll just concentrated on the front basically. So you can see the finished result anyway. You can see it's all been weathered. He's, uh, he's had a bit of cotton shoved in his shoulders. A bit of weathering to the head. Weathering to the lower pants. It's all been weathered at the back as well. So hopefully you can see the weathering, what's been done on it. On the, uh, on the camera anyway. You can see it when I look at it. If we, um, for the naked eye anyway, you can see it. Um, so hopefully it picks it up on the camera. But yeah, I think it looks a hell of a lot better. And it didn't take long to do. To do all this. Basically, all you need is a, like I say, is a black gloss. Not black gloss. You need 
a black um, acrylic paint and um, they don't come in these little tubs I, I've got this little tub but um, they come in little squeezy bottles or whatever uh, whatever they come in anyway they come in all different things anyway but you want black acrylic water it down a lot and obviously when you get the paper on your paintbrush use some tissue get as much off as you can because you don't want to uh, overdo it and then just start just obviously just start gradually doing it like i showed you anyway I, i'm going over it because i'm filming this a couple of days later and i haven't looked back at my footage obviously what i've already filmed but yeah you can see this is the end product anyway again i will be doing a base for it so it will be rised up a bit more um i don't think i'll be doing um any weathering or out to his hands I don't think it needs it. I want his hands to stay pretty white so it pops. You don't need to do it. I was going to add some blood, but to be fair, I don't think it needs that either. I think it just needed this, just a bit of different colour on, on it. I could have put a bit of brown as well in there, but I decided just to just do this with the black. I think that's all it needs. Well, uh, I'm in a different position. Yeah, I don't think it needs out else. So you can just let me know what you think, guys. If this helps you out going forward with your necker figures. Uh, I, like I say, I recommend getting this piece. I think this piece is fantastic. For the money-wise, what you get for it, it, the material and everything, it's just it's brilliant. You can't go wrong with this. You can't fault it at all. It's such a perfect piece in my opinion all these everything i say when i do reviews and that it's always my opinion it, my opinion is not the same for everybody else obviously but in my opinion this is the best uh pennywise necker figure you can get for 50 quid because literally the one i was on about the one six scale version of this is like 350 and the pictures show that it's weathered, but it's not weathered. You'll get it, and it'll look perfectly clean. And the neck looks all wrong, the way they've done the head and everything. So I just think if you want value for money, you get this piece. Get this piece. As I say, it's a decent size as well. It's bigger than normal. Uh, weather it if you want to weather it. Uh, make yourself a base for it. Uh, if you can't make yourself a base, get somebody who can make bases. Um in diorama scales and stuff there's loads of people out there on instagram and stuff like that i i can i can even do stuff like that so you can always uh message me on instagram but yeah definitely recommend it so you just let me know anyway what you think <clears throat> you can give me this there uh, give me a thumbs up uh leave a comment down below and subscribe for me if you could and we'll we'll leave it there and uh we'll see you in the next video cheers bye bye